。俺は負けねえ。覚悟しろよ。どうなっても知らねえぞ、俺も。あなたみたいなヒーローになりたい。この手で倒してやるよ。もっとすげえの用意してもらいてえ。すぐ終わらせてやる。勝つのは俺だ。来いよ。Into our set two Crimson Rampage kit reviews. This time we're going to go with Shoto Todoroki 2. So, Todoroki is one of my favorite characters in the anime. Todoroki 1 missed the mark for me. He's a cool deck. He's just too fragile. He takes too long for his game plan to set up. And he didn't quite have the defensive tools yet. Todoroki 2, however, that card's sweet. Let's go ahead and dive in. He's a six hand size, 27 health character. He keeps fire and water and gains order this time. Enhance once per turn. Your attack gets plus two speed and plus two damage. Enhance once per turn, your range attack gains stun too. And then enhance once per turn, both players add one momentum to their hand. Shoto 2 is like just a very intriguing character to me. His first two enhances are very structured deck level. They're not the most powerful thing in the world. However, they do like. Just give speed and damage and give more stats. So, like, that's always, it's always like a welcome thing, right? He's able to,、uh, you know, Recipro extends, he's a l l o w e d to play. It draws a card, yes, but it gives your next thing plus two, plus two, and that effect's powerful. So, just giving your current thing plus two, plus two, and just sending it is, is a very strong effect, especially if you're playing a poke attack, right? Making your poke attack get plus two, plus two. Giving a range attack stun two, also very good. However, the, car, the, the effect on this card that I'm most excited about is the both players add a momentum to their hand. So, it's good against these decks that need to stack momentum, obviously. However, it's also interesting when you start doing things with cards like Amphibious Ambush, where you are able to play a ranged attack. You're able to put that ranged attack into your momentum, and then you're able to pick up a momentum and play the first attack again. You're able to sling Ice Storm as a poke attack and then pick it up so you can block with it. You're able to、uh, play a Frigid Heat Wave, draw two cards, Amphibious Ambush the Heat Wave back into your momentum, pick up the, the Heat Wave, play it again, draw two cards. Uh, I think he gets to do some super cool things where he is just like bouncing one card all over his momentum. And then he also gets to like do some cool things on order with Electric Jolt.、Uh, I like him a lot on order and water. I haven't thought about him too much on fire. I think fire is more excited about the top two enhances, whereas the order and water really likes the bottom enhance.、Um, but I think there's some really cool things we can do with this card, and I can't wait to dive into him for set two. So let's jump into his cards. Up first, we have Cinder Convection. This is a five difficulty, three control check, three speed mid, five damage, with a plus one high block. It has charge, powerful three, ranged, and stun one on it. It has enhanced, discard one momentum. This attack gets plus one to all of its keyword ratings, and then if this attack is not blocked, both players will lose two health. Side note, before we jump into the stats on this card and the abilities, I actually thought this would be the secret rare. This scene from the anime is so hype. If you watch the show, it's like Shoto finally accepting that Deku has a point and he's just like, just going like Super Saiyan basically. I for sure thought Cinder Convection was, I think I posted this exact frame before Cinder Convection was spoiled and was like, this is my prediction as the secret rare on the Discord. So it's really cool seeing、uh, the art. However, I think this card is lacking a little bit. As a five difficulty, Shoto 2 can make this theoretically like a stun. Five attack, right? If you have a momentum, you can discard a momentum, give this attack plus one. You can give this attack stun two. You can discard a momentum and then give it plus one to all its keyword ratings, which makes it powerful four, stun two, and stun three, which is cool. And if you combine that with like giant ice wall, this card can just stun your opponent's whole board. But I do think that like the stats on it aren't great. The second enhance is interesting.、Uh, it basically makes this attack like seven damage theoretically. You do lose two, but they'll also lose two. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about this card. I think that it's not great. I love the art. The art is gorgeous. I saw this in person、uh, for our pre release, and I, you know, I might play a funny version of Shoto 2 that's all about giant ice ball and cinder convection and just doing funny things with that. But as for now, I think this card is very medium, very like, closer to mediocre.、Uh, I don't see myself wanting to play it too much. It's a very slow mid attack. The second enhancing, if it's not blocked, is just like. Okay, this is easy to block. If I don't want to take seven, I'm just going to block this. It also gets half blocked in the now. But anyway, I think this card, the art is gorgeous, but I do think the card itself misses the mark、uh, for how cool this art was. Up next, we have Downward Frost Spike. Four difficulty, three speed low, four damage, plus two low block. Punch and Slam. Your next punch or range attack will get plus three damage, and then Deadlock Enhance, this attack gains stun three. 
Uh, another card, this is a common here that I think is just kind of medium. It's not very good. I don't see myself playing this constructed. It was a fine filler card for, for uh, sealed and for draft, uh, especially if you can kind of get a, a good chunk of punch or range attacks to go with it. Um, in Shoto 2, like, I get the point of this. It's supposed to be a 5 speed, 6 damage, low attack that's hard to block. You use the enhance on it. And then if you have another attack, it's going to get 3 damage. But um, the Deadlock Enhance is cool. The Deadlock Enhance is, like, with Shoto 2, uh, if you can play a ranged attack, like, getting a bunch of stun off. But I just think this card's not very good. Uh, it's a little disappointing, again, because, like, this fight scene from the anime is my favorite. And so far, the cards are kind of... Uh, they're a little they're a little, little mediocre. Up next, we have Half Hot Ignition. This card, I think, is really cool. Four difficulty, four speed, four damage, mid attack. It has a plus two mid block and a three check. It's breaker one, fury, and ranged. It has the fire only enhanced. Discard the top card of your deck. This attack is minus one speed and plus two damage. And then water only enhanced. If this attack is completely blocked, it still deals one damage during the damage step. The reason I like this so much is it's a breaker one block that we are able to guarantee in Shoto 2 will deal one damage, go to our momentum, and then we can pick it up and block with it for breaker one on it. I think Shoto 2 on, this is like a Shoto 2 card. He really wants to play this card. Uh, he also gets to basically make this card. If you play this, so you know how good Electric Jolt is, right? It has stun. This isn't Electric Jolt. I don't want to get ahead of myself and say this is as good as Electric Jolt is going to be. But what Half Hot Ignition does allow you to do is you're able to play this as your first attack. It's ranged. You're able to give it stun two. Tell them to stun two. You're able to give it plus two, plus two. It's now a six, six. You're able to discard the top card of your deck and make this a 5-8 that if it's completely blocked still deals one damage if you want to. You can also just send it as a 6-6, six, six, like a very good first poke attack. Uh, I think this card is very good in Shoto 2. I'm hyped to play this card in Shoto 2. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, in other decks, the ranged All Might deck probably likes this card because it's just a 4 diff attack that has the ranged keyword. Uh, you're maybe not playing it maybe maybe it's maybe it's just not good enough stats to play but uh breaker one another breaker one block in the fire deck where you get to play ice storm and evil gaze and half hot ignition it gives you some crazy good defense but i'm excited to play this primarily in order and water shoto 2. i think it's a really cool card in, those, in that deck and next we have shoto 2's ultra rare searing glacial storm i'm gonna read the card to you and then i'm gonna give you my wholehearted reaction to this card to five difficulty, two speed high, six damage, plus one mid block with a two control check. It has the keywords ranged and stun two. In order only first enhance, both players remove foundations in their stage until they each have five into this enhanced step. I've never felt more targeted by a card before in my life. When this got spoiled, I put it in our locals group chat and I was like, which one of you paid Jasko to make this? One of the, my favorite things to do in this game is just to build like 15 foundations and go, all right, man, good luck. Like I have four cards in hand. Can you get through my wall? If you can't, uh, well, you know, I'll eventually kill you. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but you'll die eventually. And this card just like dunks all over me. Uh, I just, I'm so targeted. Jasko, if you had a problem with me personally, you could have just reached out to me. You could have just been like, hey, dude, you got to stop doing that. Just don't. I'm at, we're asking you nicely. Your locals players have asked us, you know, hey, don't, don't build, don't do that to them. Instead, you just, you printed this, and now I know if I play against an order deck in my locals, he finds his way. I think this is a deck that you're going to spend a lot of time with, and when you spend the time with it, you're going to see results. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a pickup and just run away with a deck because you're going to have a lot of intricacies in what your cards do, and like fixing your momentum and knowing what's in your momentum. But I'm really excited to play Todoroki too. Uh, I, I think his art is sweet. I think it's season two Todoroki is like pretty high up on my list of favorite version of Todoroki. So I'm super stoked, super stoked to play with this card. And that's it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, if you want to just jump in, give us a subscribe, like, comment. I would really appreciate it. We're doing the giveaway. We hit 150 subs. So we're going to do three boxes given away of Crimson Rampage in, on May 6th is soon and uh yeah if you're already subscribed to the channel if you hit that video up you hit like uh, if you subscribe to the channel and you comment on that video you will for sure be entered into that giveaway so uh, i really appreciate all the interaction you guys have been great i love playing this game i love talking to you guys about this game so once again thanks for watching